Hi, I'm Lourdes for HealingCrystals.com. And I'm Tara for HealingCrystals.com. One thing we get asked a great deal about mm -hmm. is how can we connect to higher energies? Exactly. Connect with higher beings, with angels, with mm -hmm. gods and goddesses, with um, your guides, that kind of thing. Anything spiritual. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of crystals we like to use when doing that. We were just talking, Celestite. Mm -hmm. I think Celestite is terrific for this. I put it under my pillow at night. You know, I'll put it near, you know, the computer when I'm working, especially if it's an answer to a customer who needs something and I want to make sure I get the right crystal for them. Mm -hmm. I use Celestite. Okay. I absolutely adore Celestite. In conjunction with Celestite, Angelite. Uh-huh. Angelite is terrific. It, the vibrations help not only with bringing in that energy, but communicating with that energy. Mm -hmm. Because you can bring it in, but if you're not reaching them, it's not working. Absolutely. So I like Angelite, the two of them together. Okay. And I even have it in a bracelet. The one you gave me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about yours. Well, um, I like... Uh, first of all, I like different kinds of shapes. I like to use pyramids, and yes. I like Herkimer diamonds. Mm-hmm. Um, are very nice for communicating. Um, for me, these are the, the the pyramids are very good for when I want to be grateful, for when I want to show my gratitude for my life, for everything that I have, that kind of thing. So I like to use that sometimes when I just want to express, you know, how how happy I am that I know I'm being watched over. So I like that. Herkimer Diamond, I like the particular shape for two-way communication. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it really, it helps me get my thoughts to to the higher beings and it helps them bring their thoughts down to me. Um, so I like those those specific shapes. I've got, this is a quartz, this is just a Herkimer Diamond, and then this is a fancy Jasper. I like to actually use grounding crystals sometimes. Mm-hmm for communication with higher beings. I Maybe it's just my particular energy, but I find that it's very, and actually this this one has a lot of um, very blue energy, which I took a picture that I have to put on Facebook and you'll, you'll see the energy with this. It's very interesting. But anyway, um, I also like to use um, cavernicite. It's, okay. it's beautiful. Ca for me, the cavernicite, look at the blue that it's coming on my hand from the glow. For me, cavernicite, helps me here because it's it's communication is two ways and you have to be able to listen and and sometimes that's the hardest thing mm -hmm. is to just shut up and let them talk to you and sure. actually be able to listen to them and hear them um and and i find the cavernicite really helps me to make sense of the communication because it's, it's not clear you know so, sometimes it it like the, what's coming to it, it, it may not, it may not make sense. It may come in in the form of pictures, of images. It may sound just like your own voice, which is what happens to me a lot. It mm -hmm. just sounds like I'm talking to myself, and I'm thinking, well, you know. But cavernicite, I think, really helps me with that. Helps me to to understand. I also like I like iolite. Iolite's lovely. You know, just again for 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 that listening part of things. Um, for working with specific entities, I like Vesuvius Vesuvianite. Vesuvianite, thank mm -hmm. you. Vesuvianite, I like to reach out to goddesses. Yes. I think they really like this this kind of fiery energy. And I like Howlite for getting in touch with your guides, with your spirit guides. I find that um, you know, Howlite has a very gentle communicative energy that, that helps them speak to us. And so I those like are what I like. Seraphonite. Yep. I didn't mention it because I saw Seraphonite it. Seraphonite is up. wonderful, not only for what I like, angel energy, mm -hmm. but also for fairies. Mm. Yes. You know, yes. People don't always realize, yes, it's a spiritual earth energy. Yes. You can have both. Mm -hmm. And this really works, especially if you're out in nature, try using that. I like Seraphonite for that as well. In conjunction with Seraphonite, I like Selenite. Mm -hmm. I, I throw selenite in anything. But <laughs> <laughs> selenite works so well for me mm -hmm. uh, as a moon child to work the two of them to bring in that higher dimensional energy. Sometimes it's not only just spiritual. You want, you may want to do interdimensional energy, and I do. Mm -hmm. So I use these to, to achieve that goal. 
Absolutely, absolutely, and and finally Labradorite. I oh, like. Cool. I have yeah. I have my Labradorite Angel that I love to use, mm -hmm. and I find. See, I feel it already. The vibration of it is running through me right now. I find that the, that the Labrador, yeah, Labradorite really opens me up. So that it, it makes it easier for me to be open to the messages that mm -hmm. I'm receiving. And that's what I, I like about that. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, there are a lot of options. Mm -hmm. See which one works best for you. Absolutely. And we would love to hear back from you to hear mm -hmm. about what, what works for you and what, um, you know, and if you tried any of these crystals to see if that opened up the lines of communication for you. For HealingCrystals.com, I'm Tara. And I'm Lourdes. Crystal blessings. <laughs> Bye.